before we get into this video, y'all, I need your help with letting me know what we should name her. Um, I'm getting like the name Francis, Francine or something. Um, I'm thinking about like, you know, the, the nanny. I think there was like in the 90s, the sitcom, The Nanny. I'm thinking just like Fran or something. Let me know, but um. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, uh, Pisces. But when it comes to these readings, be sure to rely on your intuition. Um, I also do your weekly general readings for your zodiac sign, Pisces, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out. Um, but as I was saying, rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Pisces. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards out resting and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it, right? Um, now, also, if you find some cards that resonate with you, Pisces, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. Um, and if you find some cards that resonate with you and you find this reading helpful in any type of capacity, um, I would like for you to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out this channel a lot and I always am super appreciative when you take the time to do that for me, Pisces. And then finally, this reading's here to just give you some perspectives, some food for thought. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. It's your life to live in, not mine, right? I'm just here to hopefully give you something to think about as you go throughout your week uh, when it comes to connecting with this person. Uh, but with all that being said, let's get into this reading, Pisces. I pulled a card for you, Pisces, a card for them, and a card for the energy between y'all. And I'll just be pulling clarifiers to get into the messages in a deeper sense. But the overall energies that we have going on this week for you, Pisces, is the Ace of Swords. So forward action, definitely. Uh, this is also where letting me know this is a week where I also am going to say, Pisces, of like ideas. Like, you know, this is the card of like new ideas coming to mind, but it doesn't net like normally a good card right because it's like that creative ideas but are those creative ideas like those spirals right let's talk about that right so what do i mean by this let's just say like you 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 and your person right you're talking but then like you start paying attention to like their mannerisms right maybe today they like sent a text and they added some punctuation when they don't normally add punctuation pisces right you're over analyzing it right that's where your mind starts spiraling and you start creating like these ideas and just being like oh they're upset because i talked about this and they didn't want to talk you know it's those things you're convincing yourself of narratives right so that's where it's like are those positive narratives or are those negative narratives now keep in mind this is the overall energy Pisces so don't feel attacked just because I'm talking to you about this this is also someone uh that's happening something that's happening to them as well so that is something to keep in mind as well like this person could be spiraling in their own narratives as well so be aware of how you communicate right the source is the cards of communication um communication in a very forward and a uh, transparent way would be the best way to connect with this person this week, I want to say, Pisces. Um, but the aces continue on in this reading, so that just is, you know, highlighting how um, good this energy is this week for you, Pisces, because on your side, we have the ace of fire. So when you have uh, aces coming up, that's as a reader, you would take that as being like, okay, like that's like a forward, like a forward affirmation. It's more so when it as like a reader, it's like if someone's like looking more so like if I'm giving you a reading personally, Pisces, and you have like a yes or no question this would be like a definite yes in terms of like going forward with something right i say forward especially because it's like the ace of swords it's like going forward um into like battle i see that as and the ace of fire is like the ace of wands um which is like the wands is forward movement right um passionate energy uh you're wanting to uh really go to the next step it feels like with this person Pisces. Um, on their side of things, they have the Three of Air or the Three of Swords. So there's pain of some sort going on here with this person, Pisces, and I kind of get the sense that it's kind of unrelated to you. Um, so that's something to consider. They could not be in like the greatest mindset right now if we're going to consider that overall energy that we had, Pisces, for you, which was that Ace of Swords, and like being careful about that energy. That Moon card just popped up, so put a pin on this real quick. Um, finish what I was saying. 
like we're keeping in mind with the ace of swords and being careful about communication maybe there's like this uh, need to be careful about communication towards this person because they're going through something this week and they're easily triggered right so that could cause some uh conflict unnecessary conflict um, but also, it could be through this communication, they're in their feelings about something. Back of the deck energy for this, I just feel inclined to address as well. Five of Pentacles, they could feel life left out in the cold in some type of way, Pisces, from you. Um, and they're experiencing some, some type of pain, and maybe they're convincing themselves of this narrative. Maybe they're overanalyzing something with you, Pisces, and they're just like, oh, like convincing themselves that like you don't want them anymore, right? You know, just all that. Because you have the moon card coming in, which is like revealing of like the unknown, something like catching you by surprise. I really do feel this kind of lets me know that it's like there's something going on that you're not entirely aware of, uh, Pisces. So if you were aware of it, it's and that sounds so ominous right pisces but i don't mean it in like such an ominous way i more so mean this in a way of um six of cups somehow was flipped in here as well so maybe something from the past related to that moon as well as something from the past uh unexpectedly coming forward maybe for this person and that's why they're going through that three of swords right obviously you would know if this is in relation to you or not probably but um yeah it just feels like I feel like this, so it's more so like in a way, like if you're aware of the situation happening, you would just handle things differently. Um, but yeah. And the energy between y'all two is the Queen of Earth or the Queen of Pentacles. So this is an energy really of um, dealing with each other. And like, as this card says, uh, make time for those around you, take a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Now, this is the key part of this uh, for you. Pisces, because it's like dealing with, with each other in a kind and understanding matter. That's like adding emphasis of being like, okay, like you guys just need to like make sure communication is good. Don't just cut your nose to spite your face, right? Don't just say things just to say things. Don't react, right? Give them the benefit of the doubt, just as like you would want them to give you the benefit of the doubt, Pisces. But let's get some clarifiers. We're going to start with your Aces Fire on your side, Pisces, and see what's up with this. Um, let's see. All right, we have the King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and then the Seven of Cups. Choice needs to be made about what you want to do next, but you... Huh, what is the back of the deck saying? Four of... <laughs> yeah, Four of Pentacles. So this is definitely... Um, you're in this headspace, Pisces, of where you're like... Where do you want to put your energy next, right? You're wanting wanting to go forward. It's almost just like you're thinking about what is the next right move for you. Where, like, what is the next part of your storyline that you go forward with, right? Uh, King of Swords shows to me that you are being pretty level-headed. You are pretty in control of your thoughts and your emotions, right? Seven of Cups comes in with the Seven of Pentacles, where it's like. Yeah, it's almost, again, it's just kind of like a choice of like, what crops do you want to invest in to like figuring out what would be like the best payout for you, um, figuring out how like, if this is like, maybe like the connection that you want. How do you feel about this connection though, actually, is really what I want to know, Pisces. Let's see. You have King of Pentacles. Now this King of Pentacles did come out in the reverse, but I don't know which way it would be. Um, so I'll just do either way. Um, actually, no, I do feel like this is in the, the reverse. It feels like, Pisces, it feels like this, you feel like this is an, uh, an unstable energy, I feel. Like, it's like you're perceiving this person as unstable. Let's see what this Three of Air, Three of Swords with them. What's going on with this pain? The Sun card came out, Four of Pentacles came out, with the Moon card coming out. So something from them, uh, they kind of reveal something to you, almost. <laughs> Pisces, I feel. Uh, the Moon card comes in as the back of the deck. Four of Pentacles comes in. The Sun card and the Empress card. So this is kind of telling me of a person, Pisces, someone messing up, right? Or someone kind of bringing something to the table, bringing something to you that you kind of aren't sure that you're about, right? And they're kind of like scared to talk to you about it. Um, 
because it's just like they really want this with you right but the sun card and four pentacles they're just it's like that energy of being like no i promise you like i'm a good person i'm on board like i'm not a waste of time i'm not trying to hurt your feelings i'm not trying to betray you i'm a good it's like this energy of trying to convince you that they're a good person right i'm not going to speak for them if they're a good person or not because it's a general reading, honey. I can't, I know, I can't know that. I can't speak for that. Uh, right. But it definitely does feel like something like catches you off guard. Like, yeah, you know how I was saying Pisces, where it's just like, it feels like if you were aware of something, you would handle it differently. Empress card is coming in where it's just like, there again, it's just like the energy being like, you know, we can learn from this. We can grow from this. We can, you know, uh, be better together with this. Right. It's really like a ple pleading energy, right? They really are like remorseful in regards to something. Uh, Queen of Earth, let's see what's up with that. Uh, actually, I think these are the cards that fell out for it. So Queen of Earth is, the, is that overall energy, Pisces, for this connection. And we have Ace of Swords coming in. So Aces, like that same Ace, you had the Ace of Swords at the beginning, yeah. Ace of Swords coming in, Ten of Swords coming in, and the High Priestess card coming in. Wow, yeah. So this is almost like a situation of like, what does your gut tell you, Pisces, of how you want to handle this situation? Do you want to like grow from them, with them in this situation? It's one of those things of where it's like, now that you know... How do you feel about it? Do you feel betrayed about it? Do you feel hurt by it, right? Ten of Swords is kind of letting me know of an energy where it's just like, you don't know how to feel about it. Or not that you don't know how to feel about it, but it's just like, you're kind of hurt by it and like processing your emotions because the back of the deck energy is the Hierophant. High Priestess card is in here. So this is really powerful, really like a calling for you to be in tune with yourself and in answering to yourself. Um, which is just huge. It's powerful. This is a really, po like, I don't know. I, I, I appreciate this. I know it probably means nothing to you, Pisces, but I appreciate this in the sense of like how much character development you're going to get from this, uh, whenever you make your decision, when it comes to this connection of what you think would be best for you in this, um, really interesting reading, fabulous reading. Definitely let me know how this reading pans out for you, how this situation excuse me, pans out for you, Pisces. Um, that's the cards that I have for you. I hope this reading was helpful in some type of capacity. If you did enjoy this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, I would like for you to share this video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages as well. But until next time, Pisces, bye.